Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite vocal tricks of all time. It's the reverse reverb trick in FL Studio. There's a few different ways to go about it. And if you're not familiar with the trick or the technique, it's taking a vocal or an instrument and blowing it out with a ton of reverb, recording it, reversing that reverb tail, and then using it as a transition to lead into another section. And there's a few different ways to go about it within FL Studio. And I'm going to show you the techniques that I've learned over the years to create one of the best sounding reverse reverbs, in my opinion. I've been working on this song. I just created the beat around this new vocal by my boy false alias i want to create a reverse reverb in the beginning of the song we have a nice little intro going here i want to create some sort of sweep that leads into that vocal just give it a listen it's that fan movement that real fan movement right here they said low pros, Pirelli's got him looking like a scorpion, false alias, and that's the name that everybody worshiping. There's not a chance of opportunity that I ain't forced. So right there in that intro, my first instinct is to throw something there to just lead it in because it's a shorter intro, which is good, but we want to create that energy that leads right into that vocal in the beginning verse. The first thing that you do when you're going to create that reverse reverb on a vocal is choose the word or words that you want to throw the reverb on and have reversed. I'm just going to use a single layer here. You can use all three layers. I might as well show you that way anyway so let's I'll, I'll show you all three layers if i was to do it that way right so solo out they said low pros they said low pros per low pros they said low, low pros, pros i think all the way up to low pros so i'm gonna take all three of these cut them there hold shift bring them down solo them out they said low pros take it a step further a lot of times people just throw reverb on this record it and call it a day but i'm going to make all these unique as sample so they're their own samples and i'll show you why because i want to reverse those before i throw any reverb on i'm reversing them you get a better sound out of it in the long run i'll show you if you want that delay you can keep it there if not we have this delay send i'm going to turn the delay off for now so that way we don't run into any timing issues when we try to reverse it time it up and transition it right if you want it a little bit smoother we can use this crossfade time it up if it's a little off time it time it all right, then I'm going to go to the vocal bus. There's a brand new free reverb from Eventide called Temperance Light. This plugin is an amazing different style of reverb that you've never heard before, by the way. This is why I want to try it out with this specifically, because I feel like we're going to get a different, totally different vibe using this type of reverb. This reverb is a musical reverb, so it coincides with the key of your song. It's the first musical reverb I think ever created. So this is what really drew me to try this for this specific trick, and I'm going to throw that on the vocal vocal bus and then after the vocal bus before we get into the settings of that plugin i'm gonna throw edison so that way we can record what we create within temperance so right here you have this temper knob where you can move it around to the key you can lock in the notes a bunch of different presets here airy minor drone i'm always a preset guy g minor chimes so you can see g major yeah and we're gonna blow it out with a lot of decay and a big size you can filter it down here Wow. Ooh. Yo. That's hard. This temper knob controls how much temper or tuning you want to put on the reverb of that sound. You can see it bending around here. Let's try around here. The way Eventide explains this is imagine a room filled with thousands of tuning forks. Each one is a different size and tuned to a specific frequency across the audio range. And then imagine if you were able to determine the tuning of each individual tuning fork within that range. And then what if you were able to determine the loudness and the decay rate of each tuning fork? Over here we have our delay, our millisecond delay. And then this is the tuning, the fine tuning, your reference, 440 hertz. And if you want to fine tune it, you can go up, say, 5 cents. And again, all these different presets. What? That might not be it for this one, but that's wild. I never heard a reverb do that. Ooh. That's dope. I'm actually going to add this to my main reverb, and I'll show you that too. But this is just for the specific reverse reverb. With a reverse reverb, we want a crazy amount of reverb. At least I do. I want a huge sounding reverb. That way I can take that tail. It's nice and long. I have a lot to deal with and a lot to manipulate on the back end. So I think I might just increase the size of this, and then I want some more low end of that too. Yeah, that's kind of hard. So now on that vocal bus inside Edison, I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to hit play and we're going to play that. So it's going to be getting that reverb from Temperance Light, recording it into Edison. Just let it tail out. 
you can hit stop and you can still let it tail out. The reverb will still decay. Then when you feel like you got a good enough tail, just click and drag that in. With that being reversed already, we are going to reverse it again. So when we reverse it again, the lyrics will line up with the lyrics that are in the original playlist in the original song in the way that they are there. So we can use that to then line them up. And then you have that decay leading up reversed. And it gives this like weird, distant, creepy-ish sounding vibe when you reverse and then reverse again. That's why on the front, end i reversed and made those unique before recording that reverb on there i like to always throw that into its own mixer track so we can manipulate that and then inside the vocal bus for now uh in, unless we want to do it another reverse reverb later on down the line i'm gonna mute temperance and then we take that reverse reverb reverse that like i was saying i'll throw on generic bleeding and then we take that and we can delete these we don't need these we're just using those to record it essentially and then we're gonna time it up now it's probably gonna be really loud you have to do a few things to it yeah movement that real fan movement they said low pros pirelli's got them looking like a fan movement that real fan movement they said low pros pirelli's got them looking like a that's cool we can pitch it down an octave if we want to fan movement they said low pros pirelli's got them I like the regular octave stereo delay it a little bit oh, and this is where some sauce comes in I don't know where I learned this over the years but there's this one called fruity panomatic so I like to put it on this LFO setting and you can pan this thing back and forth you can do the amount or you can do volume so I like instead of doing the panning I'll put it on volume and this LFO will just kind of like automatically jump around increase the speed you can create an automation clip on that speed and create this awesome effect with this reverse reverb, taking it a step further from your normal everyday reverse reverb, because there this trick is out there and a lot of people do it, but you can make it your own with different effects. That real fan movement. That said low pros Pirelli. Ooh. That real fan movement. That said low pros Pirelli's got them looking like. Yeah, that's different you can hear the word low pros still in that reverse reverb audio clip that we recorded but it's in real time but the tail and everything else before it leading up to it it has that reverse vibe to it and then you can filter it a little bit more if you need to if you feel like it's a little bit too harsh sometimes i'll throw an eq on at the end of that that real fan movement they said low pros pirelli's got them looking like a scorpion false alias i want to throw temperance on my reverb send right now i have fruity delay 2 which is good i want to go for a different sound in this one so i'm going to use that temperance light on my main reverb send so let's go to temperance light solo out the main vocal who is this false kid can you tell me what's he masking just another dude from boston but i never forced the yeah let's listen to it in full context low pros pirelli's got them looking like a scorpion false alias and that's the name that everybody worshiping there's not a chance or opportunity that i I really love the filtering that you can do in here too. This is amazing. Especially on my main vocal reverb. I don't want it to clash. I want it to be there consistently throughout the song, but I don't want it to clash. A lot of times I'll be using sidechain, but I feel like with this, because of the filtering on it and the effects that you can do within the plugin of Temperance, I don't have to do much sidechaining. It just kind of tucks it away like perfectly. Listen to it solo. Low pros, Pirelli's got him looking like a scorpion, false alias, and that's the name that Everybody worshiping is not a chance of opportunity that I ain't forcing it. Load the nine, Maybe give it a little bit more temper. Forces, bitch, and I don't miss. Never did, never will. If I shoot my shot, that's buckets. Never check in on the film. Stacking up these wins, you be stacking up excuses. And I'm coming for your neck combined. Tighten up the noose. Listen to the tail. It just sounds so different. It has a musical aspect to it that reverbs normally don't have. Like you can hear notes in there. You can lock in the notes. You can turn on multiple notes. So let's say if like this one's in C minor. So let's just say we want it to be on C minor. Minor. That's it. Low pros, Pirelli's got him looking like a scorpion, false alias, and that's the name that everybody worshiping. There's not a chance of opportunity that I ain't forcing it. You hear that? Like little ringing there? That's the reverb. Low pros, Pirelli's got him looking like a scorpion, false. All right, yeah. So back to the reverse reverb. I'm loving this one, and this is great for different parts. You can do this with any instrument. That's the way I like to do reverse reverb nowadays. That technique of reversing the original one before you record it with the reverb on it, and then reversing it again. It just creates a totally different vibe. Throwing some effects on there filtering it out making it unique making it your own it's still one of those effects that hold up today some effects come and go and some tricks come and go but i feel like i still go to the reverse reverb and i'm always trying to find a new and innovative way of doing that and temperance light has given me a different sound and a different tone on this reverb which is amazing yeah let's give it one more listen
It's that fan movement, that real fan movement. They said low pros, Pirelli's got them looking like a scorpion, false alias, and that's the name that everybody worshiping. The reverse reverb and the main reverb on the entire vocal switched it up, gave it a different vibe. I'm loving the sound of this. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to try this out, Temperance Light is free until December 31st. So hit the link down in the description below before that goes away. And make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.